Hi, I'm Greg Stokes. I'm an attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. We handle serious injury and death cases. Today we're talking about mediation. What is mediation and how do you get the best results at a mediation? During the history of a case, after it's filed, after the discovery process is over, after it's getting close to trial, most court systems will say, you have to try to get this case settled. And they will tell the attorneys for both sides to go to mediation. And mediation is a process that takes about a day. You as a client will be present with me. There will be an attorney on the other side and probably an insurance adjuster. And there's going to be a mediator. He is a neutral. Many times he is trained as an attorney. Sometimes he is trained as a judge. But he's not making decisions like a judge who would hear the facts of the case and make a decision who wins, who loses, and how much. The mediator doesn't do that. The mediator is trying to get two sides of a case to work together to get the case settled for a certain dollar amount. There are two types of mediation, mandatory and voluntary. Mandatory mediation, the court system said, you need to go down to a mediation and try to get the case settled. That's mandatory. Many times the case won't settle, mainly because the insurance company is being directed to come down and try to settle the case. But if they don't want to be at the mediation, they'll come but they won't come with the money necessary to get the case settled. We had a very, very serious police shooting case that went on for a great number of years. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals ordered mandatory mediation. That day, we got nowhere. Although in the same case, as we got to close to trial, and the city changed its tune, and they wanted to go to voluntary mediation, where we showed up and they showed up and although we didn't get it settled that day we got it pretty close to being settled and just about the Friday before the Monday of trial because of the work that we had done at the voluntary mediation we were able to get the case settled. Now let me tell you sometimes mediation works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes insurance companies go to mediation with the thought in mind that they told the defense attorney, you have maximum authority up to this point. And I'll, I'll give you an example. There was another police shooting case. We had done everything we needed to do. We had a day-long mediation. We hadn't made a lot of progress. We had a substantial offer on the table. And my gut reaction was that was not the best money that we were going to receive on the case. Now, what was really difficult, my co-counsel and my client wanted to set, accept the offer, the last offer that was made at the end of the day. And this was an eight to ten hour process. And trial was only a few weeks away. Well, my client followed my advice and she didn't settle the case. Within a week, the mediator, who was an ex-federal judge, kept the mediation going by telephone. And by the time we settled the case, we settled it for almost three times what their best offer was on the day of mediation. So mediation, it's a voluntary process. It's non-binding. Nobody, there's no verdict or decision that's rendered out at the end of the day. It's just getting both sides together to try to get it settled. It works best when both sides enter it voluntarily in good faith. And the attorney representing the plaintiff has to be aware of the fact that possibly the other side is not operating in good faith and they've been sent down there with limited authority. I hope this information has proved helpful to you. If you ever find yourself in a similar situation and you need an attorney, please give us a call. Our number is 1-800-700-5050.
Thanks for listening.